Uh, very good afternoon to all the viewers uh, watching this. My name is Dr. Allur Radha Krishna, and I had embarked on my uh, Russian MB MBBS abroad journey on the 12th of September 2012. Graduated on the 25th of June 2018. Had uh, appeared in the uh, FMG December session exam, which I cleared in my first attempt. Um, and uh, all I could say that it was a journey of five months of isolation and hard, hard work which finally paid off. I'm uh, really grateful to all my well wishes and especially uh, my family who has been there through and throughout to support me. And uh, what I would say that every every candidate appearing in this exam, he or she always fears that what will happen. Well, no one can predict what will happen. The only thing we can do is uh, just have a sense of perseverance. Keep on revising, re revising whatever you have studied and I'm sure all of uh, all the candidates know about the coaching centers, various coaching centers in Delhi. So it's to each his own, whatever he or she chooses. There is no good, there's no bad. All the notes which are provided by these coaching centers are almost the same. I mean, there'll be a difference of what, of a percent or two, not more. But the main thing is uh, attending the classes and paying attention, obviously being attentive and making sure that you keep aside all distractions. If uh, you're putting up in Gautam Nagar, the, that's where all the centers are situated, then taking a room and that's a person's choice. Or if he, if he or she wants to go back home, if their family puts up in Delhi like I was doing, I was commuting every day from home and back, which yes, it takes a bit of time, but uh, I thought to myself that I need to be isolated from the world for, to clear this exam. and. When and I, I had landed in India on the 5th of July, my classes started on the 15th of July and the first one week, I would say, that is the time when you're settling down. So you are not in your uh, zone or mode or sync or whatever you want to call it. So try to settle down as soon as possible, right? And I'm sure once graduation is over, parents are there or whatever, the friends, finish that in a week or two, come back, select a coaching center and just go at it. So I actually started studying very seriously from the first day of August, I would say truthfully. And yes, uh, isolation is a very important thing. Distractions have to be kept aside. Once you have decided that you have to clear this exam, you will clear this exam. I am no topper. Please let me say that yeah, again, I'm no topper. I'm an average student who just knew from where to study, what to study and I kept on revising. Revision is key. That is the only way to clear this exam because when you have 19 subjects, you cannot remember them in one go. And frankly speaking, I did not study all 19 subjects together. I did go through them once, but there are some subjects which I selected, which had more weightage, which I thought had more weightage. And I had taken the advice of my seniors and etc, etc. So a culmination of all these tactics and I mean, I mean, revision techniques that led to me creating the exam in my first attempt and that's about it. So for all the future candidates, just think about clearing everything on time in your particular country or state. Once you're done with that, just embark on this journey of isolation, I would say, uh, for five months, revise all your notes and that's about it. The more you revise, the more you learn, the more you remember and the better you score. There's no other secret, no key. This is the fundamental basic. Your mind has to be completely jogged upon to get the information in your mind and keep it remembered. So yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much and uh, best of luck to all the future candidates appearing in this exam. Thank you.